Okay, guys. Hey, say hi, Georgie. Good boy. Thank you. All right. So I did a mock-up. I've done a few videos now of this for you. This version is going to be the version where I move the uh, control joint along this plane here. Here's your H-beam. Sorry, that's a little limp. That's the, uh, the BMA near the building. This is the, the original intended drawings with the 1010 deck and the 1110 deck. The parking garage area is all here. And it was supposed to be divided by a beam. These are the columns. All these dots are, all these pins are columns. This represents the cracking. As we see it with the car rolled over on top of the truck there. Then it comes this way, turns again, and goes this way. This line has the wall, uh, I'm sorry, it's leaning down like that. And the car, the cars are like this, right? And there's a little more, but it's leaning down the uh, edge of the deck here. will be leaning down. Now you can visualize it. The cars are here. And at the front of the car, leans down. the deck leans down. But the cars are right about there. So our cars are here. This is all here. So remember, loading comes by. It loads. It shock loads the deck. This is in here. This beam is not there. But let, me it, let me leave it there for now. The cars are there. That 40 pounds per square foot, I believe, is exceeded many times over um, with these cars cycling through the system. There's the BMA. There is this beam. Get back in there. So this would be the representing the crack on the pool area. Now that deck... Looks like that. It goes up, not down, but up like that. Right about to there. There's the hot tub here. There's a column right here. This column right there is by the pool. It is my construction joint. I'm loading a video coming out shortly tonight. And we already went over this in another video, the same video. I'm loading it again because of the significance of it. Do you see there's a construction joint? There's a column right above the construction joint. This is set back beyond this edge. It's not like this one on the edge. So keep that in mind. That's 38. Looking at these drawings here, that would be this pool here. This is 38. That setback of that other column may look close for, because of photography reasons, but it's over here. That other column that's in the background. 38. That's a difference of 10 feet set back. From here, it's 10 feet. Um, so it's, it's pretty significant. There's the base, hold on. It's pretty significant. At one point, they put the jacuzzi and they had to lose two spots. Now we're at 9 6. So we're going to have to play around with these numbers a bit. Hey, Georgie. So we play around with these numbers. Here's 10 foot over here on the drawings. So we got between 10 foot and 9 6. Pick your poison a bit. Um, I would think it's going to be 10 foot because this look, this might be the jacuzzi one. I don't I don't know. Let's let's run this line though. This line, this line runs about true. Okay, so this is 19 foot 8 inches. That's 10 foot. That's just about half just about half of this 19.8. As we parallel it up, we parallel it up. There's 19.8 again. So just about halfway is the column. This column has it on 10 foot right there. I, um, so triangulating, I'd have to, this, this offset right here, I can't get it yet. I don't, I can't get it yet for you. But I would guess it would be 7 foot 10 inches. Sorry for the focus. 7 10. And that put us on the back side the back side, 710, of right about there. These two between here and here, these two columns. And that would give us our center line above this, right on this BMA, a construction joint. And that follows down with the, with the offset between those two. Right about in the middle, right? There's the middle column that's about 10 foot. 
So that looks like about middle, so that would be 20 feet. And what do we have? About 20 feet between here and here. And that's where the head I just showed you was on that thing. So the head, uh, the construction joint is right here. And that would put our plane like this. Now when we get the collapse of the pool of this area here down the ramp that we observe by say this column here, Remember, we're going to have a, it's not going to just punch here. It's going to have some type of butterfly. So I'm guessing it butterfly from here, from, from this pin, this over to here. It dropped down, and so it draped from, from here is the other part of the butterfly. So from here up is a ramp up, and then flat, because it presents pretty much flat as you look down the ramp. And then back over to here. So during our collapse, our, our, our uh, secondary collapse, our primary collapse is this area here where the car was in a pool deck that's where they notice it from the from this area here from the from the room 111 the c i think it is the c area c apartments come out they notice the deck go down the cars go down the cars go down and he watches mama bear comes through the doorway she says we gotta skedaddle the daughter says i gotta get dressed whatever they do whatever they got to do. They skedaddle, they head out of the lobby, they got to give address to the security guard, who they said couldn't remember her address. She wasn't quite, uh, she works the night shift there. Um, it's a shocking thing. So she could have been in shock, not remembering the address where she works. Her default memories, remember I told you that I'd been in shock before when the people, was, a couple of loved ones were dead. I didn't know who they were. Twice it happened to me. Didn't ask for it. I didn't ask for my amygdala to protect me. But that wasn't primary in her her mind either. The address where she worked. When they said, you know, call an address. They're like, address, address. Shit, I can't remember my address. I would argue with you guys, what's your full address that you work at right now? now if you work at home, doesn't count. But it's your work. What's your zip, what's your zip code, area code, and everything? I mean, uh, um, zip code. Um, zip code. So now there's our construction joint, I believe. So when we get our collapse, we see it break over. They, they observe what he said, the pool deck, uh, the garage, the cars go down, then a the pool deck. I think this just visually looked like it was more movement to him at night, 2 o'clock in the morning, to present it, and it looked like secondary to him. Um, but they were together. And so I think this is our first collapse. They have time to leave. Um, other people look out the window and make phone calls. I don't know how much it pulled on to this area, pulled on in these, this uh, M, there's M. I don't know how much it pulled on M at that point, but I don't think it pulled on it that much because he didn't complain that he lost his footing or it was shaking under his feet. Um, so he didn't complain of that. In fact, the lady in 611 or 6, whatever, the model lady, and the other one said they thought it was an earthquake um, and a sinkhole rather that he's observed. Not, a couple of them said sinkhole, which means the building is not shaking. I, well, anyway, you can go either way with that. This is your first failure. They are able to leave. And the second failure is that this is the strain and the rebar finally gives way. It breaks free, and this secondary um, break happens where you see the flat. And it appears it presents as flat right about. It could be right across this column where it presents as flat, which means... This is the secondary deck that failed up to here, or it could be out to here where it fails. If it's here, it had a punch around these, uh, to, for the deck to fall, it had a punch around and make these BMAs fail also, which are, which are pretty substantial. Um, if it just stretched this side, that side would then be able to have its own little failure on that side, depending on how it's tied in. Um, there is an elevation change here. This elevation is a real change. Even though it says two foot six there, it's a real one foot six change. They tied it in with the reinforcement, as I state, deck ledger failure. They tied it in with the reinforcement like that. There's a deck down here. Here's the reinforcement concrete, the elevation change. And then there is your lobby area, if you will. And when I say lobby area, I'm taking some liberties because initially the deck changes height. And maybe, I don't know if they uh, went to 12.9 right there. 
I think they probably just stacked the concrete on top of there. I can imagine it being pretty solid right there or not, not, um, there's only really one foot nine. I can imagine they poured it in there, which would give us our stresses, our brakes here, if they overloaded this area with concrete when they went to make it. It was supposed to be an elevation change. Instead of an elevation change, what if that was solid concrete? We won't know because they didn't give us, they didn't show the materials come out. That would be great if that was solid concrete. That would give us a new load to deal with, a concentrated load on those BMAs. It would explain a lot of fractures and things like that around this area, other than the flower pot weight. So then here's our construction joint. I believe it's continuous. I would think it would be continuous all the way out to there. If that's the case, you'd think the next one would be somewhere about, you know, the distance. Um, breaking it up, the pores, or maybe they got pretty heavy-handed and went to the next one, even larger. I don't know the construction joints. I wish we, wish we knew them. Um, you know, you, you would think you'd be able to find them in the parking garage where they painted, etc. So if we can get some videos of the underside of this garage, we might be able to locate the construction joints. If that, if that is, if someone's so inclined to find a video like that or hand it off. I had this over here for the sport of it to move this over um, to here. It, if you do that, you do run across the uh, what we call now the HBMA. Incidentally, the butterfly um, punch here is what I've, I've coined that myself. A butterfly um, roof is a roof that has that goes like this direction and that way, like the wings of a butterfly, if you will. And the water pools in the, down at the bottom and goes drains off. Butterfly is where I come up with this puncture name I've come up with. There is no, as far as I know, there is no butterfly puncture. I made it up and it describes what I believe to be the puncture characteristics. Um, to, to out, out here, here it's more, well you had cars holding it up over here. There's some cars that really held it up over here at this point. Now this was supposed to have a, BM, a BMA, BMA um, across... Yeah, baby, come on. Friction. Is holding with friction. Across there was supposed to be a BMA. Right here. Now the transfer beam, let's get this up here. So the transfer beam is right here, this BMA. And then the other one goes on top of it like that. Same thing down here. One goes across and the other one goes on top of it. So it would span on from this from this column. These are columns, remember, all the way out to the wall. And between these two columns, they had another beam, a BMA, that would go on top of it. Interesting that BMA was, ink was to be, um, if we look at the detail, was to be incorporated all as one. It's a one, one little, nice little sophisticated little pour there of concrete. So here we have... Uh, Again, the transfer beam would be this BMA, and the loads would from this beam would transfer down onto that beam. Um, dirty hands, dirty hands. Uh, no, it's bad lighting. Let's see if I can do something about that. There we go. So the transfer beams. Sorry about that. I don't know if that worked. The lighting got even different. All right, let's just use a pointer then. Um, so there we have it. Uh, there, there is where I think our construction joint is. I think it goes up here. I like it because I'm biasedly so. It, it sits right on the outside of of uh, the BMA thir BM36 beam 36. It would allow the floors to stop there. It would allow the floors to stop there, and they can pick up the red floors from the other side. There's a construction. There's a material there. The the, the hooks, the reinforcement. Everything would work right about there. They'd maybe turn it and come down to this 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 side. Um, now let's confirm that with elevations. That's thirteen four. That's thirteen four. So this is a higher elevation. So this deck and this deck would not have been poured together, but they would have done a, another um, elevation change here. This says it's going up to nineteen eleven four foot one inches. So clearly that, that is a huge elevation change to a slab drops as they call it. 
that would be a huge or is a huge elevation change so I'm guessing you know that would be re, uh, real really have significant details in that one to get that four foot wall and then put the uh, put this 911 9 elevation to 1911 and the dimensions are as such this one's elevations of 18.2 this is what the laundry room I think it is you step up into a laundry room here is that what that is? You step up, make a few steps. I think that's outside their apartment here. You come through a doorway here, and this is in the laundry room. It's some type of, uh, I forget, utility room or something like that. But there's four foot one on that side too. I mean, also, not two, like as in TWO, but the other one. But we're back to 13.4 again over here. So all this is 13.4. So this is why I would say this is our construction joint. Our elevation change taking place here. It's consistent, it says 2 6 there, but I believe it's 1 6 when you add the 11 10, and then this comes up to 11 10. This was supposed to be an elevation change, though, as you remember, there's supposed to be a beam there. So let's look at it like that again. All right, I'm going to load this video up. I know it's a short one, but I have a much larger detail uh, um, mock up than this. This is the first version for you just to get you. Let me see what you have to say about it, and then I, I might add to it. I have four of these videos. Maybe this will be the one that I'll actually load up. I think I'm up. Yeah, this is up to four now. This one might be the one I load up. I was going to first do a version where I show you it over here and then say why it should be over here. And then I decided I don't want to confuse you. I'll just show you why here. There's Georgie. Good boy, Georgie. His eyes, I know his eyes, they do the eye thing, so I'm trying not to. Good boy, George. Hey, Georgie. Look at those little paws. Look at those little paws of George's. Yes, boy.